Hey there and welcome back to another video. Now, today I have the mod tutorial which many of you have been requesting for the past week. And, well, first of all, huge thanks to Fiemen321, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But this guy made the entire mod himself, so huge shout out to him. And yeah, now let's get on with the tutorial. So first of all, click the first link in the description. It will take you to this page. And what you have to do is click on free releases. And then choose this version, 1.0.0. Then click on release.jar and subnautica giantpeepers.dll and download them. Once you've downloaded them, drag them to your desktop and open your Subnautica folder. For all of you that don't know how to access it, it's just in your C drive, then Programs x 68, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and then Subnautica. Scroll down until you see Subnautica data and then go and Managed. Now just drag the release in there. Then right click it and unpack it. After that you can delete it and run the installer. It will tell you that it's a risk for your PC, but don't worry, it won't damage it. Then this console should pop up, and you just have to wait until it says press any key to exit. Then press any key to exit, and you should have a Subnautica mods folder in your Subnautica data folder. There you go. Now you just drag the giant peeper DLL in there. And that's it, now you just have to launch Subnautica. So the first thing that comes with the custom Leviathans mod is new commands. Just open the console and type in fast swim and then a value. The normal value is 200 so let's go for 400. Now if you press H you should be really fast. And this also works for jumping out of the water, which is pretty cool from time to time. Also, don't worry about these texture bugs, they don't come with the mod, that's a bug in Subnautica right now. So if you install this mod, you should not have these texture bugs once it is fixed. You can also spawn the Peeper Leviathan by pressing J. So basically, all you have to do to get a custom texture on your Peeper Leviathan is Use the texture of a peeper, modify it and save it as a PNG file named peeper in the normal Subnautica folder. The basic texture is down in the description. If you have a Seamoth in your world and press L, it will automatically attach the uh, to the latest people of Arthur you spawned. Let's spawn another one. So now just press L and the Seamoth should attach to it. Exactly. And it will let go of it after a while. There we go, and it ran off. Now, what else can you do? You can spawn any creature at any size. That's why it's called Custom Leviathan. So for example, if we want to spawn a Hoopfish Leviathan, we do Spawn Scaled Hoopfish 110. The 1 stands for how many and the 10 for the size. And there we go. We have a giant Hoopfish. You can even pick it up. Now, let's see how big we can make the Sea Emperor. Um, okay, that might have been a little too big. Probably, yeah. Let's spawn a Sea Emperor, 10 times the size of a normal one. Oh, Jesus! Let's spawn a Sea Emperor, just 2 times the size of a normal one. As you can see, that's a little small. So, let's spawn a Sea Emperor, 5 times the size of a normal one. Uh, yeah, there it goes. This is a reef bag 10 times the size of a normal one. I don't want to come across this thing. And now let's spawn a spine needle 10 times the size of a normal one. There you go. And it vanished. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!